Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do my best to explain how Sticky Keys works, actually. And uh, I know this has been a point of confusion for a lot of people, myself included. Uh, I used to think maybe it was just some like weird delay on the modifier keys that made it work with jump attacking. I didn't really understand what was going on with your keyboard when you had Sticky Keys on. Uh, but since I've come back to Nightwalker, I have endeavored to learn a little bit more about what's actually happening, and uh, I will now share my findings with the community, although it's not, you know, I haven't, I'm certainly not the first one to learn this stuff, I just, you know, have come to understand it over the last few days, so I want to go over it in a video. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to open up this. So this is my my layout right now. I have jump on alt, which is the sticky key. I have quintuple star on Z, and then I have flash jump on its own key. Um, flash jump, I usually don't put flash jump on its own key, but when you have jump on your sticky key, it makes a lot of sense to have flash jump on its own key, and I'm going to explain why right now. Uh, as you can see, I have this very nice blue keyboard right here. This keyboard is mirroring my inputs, so you can see, you know, when I'm pressing certain keys. It's very useful for the explanation. So, uh, first things first, I'm just going to jump once and let go of the key, and that's it. So we're going to jump. Alright, so I've let go of the key, but as you can see, Alt is still being highlighted on the keyboard. Uh, that's because Sticky Keys is making the keyboard think that I'm still holding Alt. Uh, the reason it does this, I think the intended purpose of sticky keys is so that you can like press, you know, like control alt delete or something in uh, sequential order. You don't have to hold them down. You can just press control and then alt and then delete and then that'll work. I think that's the intended purpose of sticky keys, but no one actually uses it for the intended purpose. So um, right now the keyboard thinks I'm still holding alt. The only way to get it out of this um, state, as it were, is to press a different key or to press Alt two more times. Now, this causes an issue if you want to flash jump with Alt, because to flash jump with Alt, you have to press Alt four times in a row very fast. So I'm going to turn this off, right? So now we don't have this. If I want to flash jump right now just using the Alt key, I have to jump first. That's one Alt. I have to turn the sticky keys off. That's two more alts, and then I have to alt again to flash jump. So that's four alts, like that. And I pressed a few extra times, so but you get the idea. It's very, it's not convenient. So that's why flash jump is on its own key. Uh, another thing that I've learned about sticky keys, and this this thing is very confusing. I want to preface that right now. So bear with me, because I I don't really know how to explain this very concisely. Um, but say you're like, you're walking, right? I'm walking left. Now say I want to jump and then attack, right? I want to start jump attacking. So I jump and then attack. Now, what happened there is I flash jumped. But I didn't hit Alt four times, nor did I hit the A key, which is my flash jump key. All I did was attack, right? So why did I flash jump? Well, the reason for why I flash jumped is if you're holding a key before you press the modifier, so like I was holding the left arrow key there, say I'm holding the right arrow key, and then I hit the modifier, which is alt, and then I press any other key, it'll repress alt. The keyboard will. So if I want to walk, and then I want to jump, and then I want to turn around, it'll force me to flash jump. This gave me a lot of issues in Lotus and Damien because very frequently I would go to like, you know, jump slightly in one direction and then turn around midair so I could start attacking backwards while still moving to the right. But if you do that too fast, you will flash jump. So this is sort of the reason that I bothered to learn more about sticky keys because this was really, really annoying me. And, um... This is basically the results of that. I've come to a much better understanding of what's going on. Uh, the issue is that 
you have to be very cognizant of what you're pressing in order to avoid the accidental flash jumping in this situation. And there's a few alternative methods that people have proposed to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to briefly talk about the sort of solution that I've come up with, but uh, it's not perfect, and I'll also go over that. And then after that, I'll go over the issues with uh, the main solution, as it were, the one most people seem to recommend. And then I'm also going to discuss uh, issues with the mechanical keyboard method that I was initially using on stream the other day. Uh, I would much prefer to use the mechanical keyboard method in every situation, just because you don't have to deal with sticky keys. But it has its own unique issues that make it significantly worse, unfortunately. Um, so I'll be going over that. But as for my solution, what I've come up with, and this is, you know, I don't want to claim this. You know, I'm not the first one who came up with this, for sure. I'm sure hundreds of other people have thought of this before I did. This is just the conclusion that I've reached after, you know, learning how this works. So, say I'm jumping, and this is me physically holding down the Alt key right now. You can then press any other key. Now I'm still holding Alt, but I'm no longer jumping in place. Now, as long as I continue to hold Alt, I can use other keys, and when I press them, it'll just jump at the same time. So if I'm moving left, I will jump to the left. If I stop, I stop. If I'm moving right, I will jump to the right. If I stop, I stop. If I want to move to the right and I want to attack, then I can do that. If I want to move to the right and then do this. Uh, you have a lot more uh, control over your character as long as you continue to hold Alt in this situation. The drawback here is that no matter what you do, you will always jump constantly which can pose a bit of an issue in stuff like Lotus, specifically Hard Lotus, and uh, what I think might be more worrisome is uh, the new boss that KMS just got, Commander Will. I'm very worried that jump attacking might be incredibly difficult in Commander Will, and this method specifically means that you're always jumping which is probably even worse for Will. So, um, those are the main issues with this method. They can be circumvented with good control, which takes practice and time, um, but I'm not sure to what extent you can circumvent them, specifically in the case of Will, because I can't practice Will, obviously. Uh, but before we go on about that, I'm going to quickly showcase my issues with the other method, as it were. So the alternative method that most people recommend is to have your attack on the modifier and your jump on the normal key. So we'll do that. We have jump on Z now. We have our attack on shift. Now, my biggest issue with this is that you can't jump into attacking. You have to attack first, no matter what. So, like, I can't jump and then start jump attacking, because it'll just end up grounded like this. I have to stop, and then attack, and then hold jump, and then I can start jump attacking. This makes it a lot less fluid in, like, every situation, because you have to come to a full stop to attack first, and then you can start jumping. But you will always do a grounded attack first. So you're stuck on the ground for a certain portion of time. Whereas with the other method, you can just freely move around and jump attack. Even though there's a slight risk of, you know, randomly flash jumping, you can sort of control it as long as you're paying attention to your computer. But with this, you basically are stuck on the ground for, you know, however long that is at the start of every jump attack, which is very not ideal for me. I really don't like that. So I would much rather, even though it takes a lot of focus to avoid the accidental jump, or not jump attacking, but the accidental flash jumping, I would much rather have it this way than the other way. So that's my issue with that. Um, the problems with the mechanical keyboard method I was using, so for those of you who didn't see the stream where I was practicing it, um, certain mechanical keyboards, if you press the two keys, jump and quintuple throw, at the exact same time, um, it'll just jump attack. 
so you don't have to use sticky keys at all. You just have to get the timing down for pressing the two keys. The biggest issue with this, and really the only issue with this, is uh, if there is literally any lag whatsoever within the game, it will cause you to flash jump. Which is significantly worse than the accidental flash jumping of the sticky keys. But basically the main culprits for that are these guys, my, my pets. Uh, if they auto buff, if they feed themselves, if they auto pot, if they do any of those things, I will flash jump. Or beyond pets, if I use like Dominion, right? So I use Dominion. When Dominion ends, there's a bit of lag, like a tiny bit of lag, but it's enough to cause me to flash jump. So, as much as I would prefer to use the mechanical keyboard method at all times, just because I really don't like sticky keys, it's completely out of my hands whether or not I end up flash jumping, unless I just completely unequip my pets and then pray to God that I like never um, I never lag. Like that's the only way I can avoid accidentally flash jumping in that situation. So that's also why I've tried to learn much more about sticky keys because it it's the only way to control the flash jumping, unfortunately, over the mechanical keyboard. So with all that being said, um Moving on to my final point here, there is a good chance that I end up moving to Phantom. Uh, it won't be right away. It'll be at the earliest, like the end of February, uh, because we have the Maplehood Watch stuff coming. But basically, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to practice this, obviously, and try and get it to a point where I'm proficient. But... I'm very worried and concerned about Commander Will specifically, but also like Hard Lotus and some other bosses. Uh, I just don't know how viable jump attacking might be in those situations. And like I said, I'm sure if you get to like mastery over sticky keys and you're like a god at your keyboard, right? That you can make it work. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get to that point. So it might be a better option for me to just try Phantom instead. Because as of right now, I haven't really gotten many equips that are, you know, specific to Nightwalker. Uh, I have my secondary weapon. My claw right now is still the one that I'm borrowing from my friend Tyler. And then I've gotten like one Sweetwater accessory. But everything else, I could just move over to Phantom. So... I think what's going to end up happening, well, I don't want to say for sure, because I'm still going to be practicing and everything, but I think there is a good chance that I end up moving to Phantom, and that will happen after the Maplehood Watch stuff gets me the free peace soaks to move everything over, so I don't have to like spend however much it would be to peace soak everything. Um, we do have Sengoku High coming up. I plan on getting the badge for both characters, just so that whatever happens, I will have the badge on whichever character I end up going with. But basically just wanted to get the message out there that this was a possibility. Uh, I also hope this information about Sticky Keys helps other people who have been struggling. Um, if you guys have other tips or tricks, let me know. That uh, As long as they don't involve putting the attack on the modifier key because I'm not a fan of that. I've uh, discussed the issues with that that I have. But uh, that's pretty much everything for me so I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I will likely still be a Nightwalker by then but maybe not if I take like a month hiatus. Who knows what's going to happen. That's half the fun I guess. So uh, thanks so much for watching everyone and I will see you guys next time.